Alex from Stratified here. I'm just going over the installation of a Guardian Angel in a Ford Focus ST. So first of all, the Guardian Angel is mounted on the fuse box of the car. It's mounted using 3M double-sided molding tape and this uh, holds it in very nicely and securely and on top of that it's easy to remove uh, should it be removed. Uh, secondly, what you want to do is you want to connect the uh, vacuum hoses uh, that are required for its operation. There's a BPV in uh, marked here on the on the unit and then there's a BPV out uh, port on the front of the unit where the dials are. So first the BPV in uh, it is the hose that um, comes from either the manifold or the OEM solenoid. So I'll go through both setups but uh, in this particular setup we have it connected to the OEM solenoid. So if we follow this hose, uh, it comes along here and underneath the intake, it is connected directly to the OEM solenoid uh, and secured using the provided clips. So this goes to the BPV in of the Guardian Angel. The BPV out signal goes to your, well you guessed it, the bypass valve. And in our case we have it coming here underneath and going to the Tile Q bypass valve because we have a larger GTX turbo on our car. But uh, this is the, the signal that you go to either your OEM bypass valve or an aftermarket one. The other connections uh, are the electrical connections and uh, we'll go over those next. There are several electrical connections that need to be made for the Guardian Angel. Uh, first of all, you have power. So you need to power the unit from a switched 12 volt supply. And uh, there are several in the engine bay. All of these fuse locations here are uh, switched 12 volt. And uh, we found one that actually doesn't have a, another fuse in it. So we used it. This is an ST2 model. Focus ST from 2014. Um, if you do uh, need to use one that already has a fuse, make sure that you put that fuse uh, in the secondary slot of the um, of the add a fuse circuit. So in this case, we don't have an additional fuse in this location, so we could just uh, use it and we tested it and it works fine and route this out uh, of the fuse box. Um, the other connections that you have are a ground connection and we have this actually right in here you can see the ring terminal it's it's right in there and uh, that's where we have our ground connection uh, set up it is uh, you do have to remove the um, the OEM airbox uh, the other connections are a um, the LED which we actually have it routed all the way across the passenger side and into the cabin and then finally we have the LED mounted uh, on uh, attached onto the cooling mist uh, water methanol fail safe gauge there and uh, we'll go on the uh, on the inside of the car and, and show you how that is a little bit later the final connection is the fail safe trigger so we have this connected to our cooling mist fail safe and it is this yellow wire that you see right here so if you watch our cooling mist uh, video you'll see how uh, we ran the wires through the grommet on the passenger side and this is where the LED goes through into the cabin as well. And uh, we connected this wire to the blue wire on the Guardian Angel. And now should there be a fault detected by the water methanol uh, control system, the failsafe on there, uh, then it'll trigger the Guardian Angel and lower the boost immediately. Adjusting your Guardian Angel is done from the front of the unit. Here you'll find two dials. Uh, one is the PSI limit. This is the overboost uh, limit and you want to set this just above the boost that you normally run. Because we have a GTX Turbo installed, uh, we walked our setting uh, to just around 30 PSI here. So uh, depending on how much boost you're running on the car, uh, you can adjust this slowly a little bit at a time until you're just over the amount that you regularly run and you're not tripping the Guardian Angel. Um, I suggest that when you first install it to test it out, you run it all the way down to 10 PSI, 10 pounds, make sure that it trips and it uh, lowers, your, uh, lowers your boost from what you normally run. The other adjustment is, this is the VTA adjustment. So if you are running the Guardian Angel off of the OEM solenoid, uh, this, this uh, should be set to off 
so to that line over there. However, if you are running the uh, Guardian Angel to control your bypass valve fully uh, and replacing the OEM solenoid, then you can adjust how uh, the Guardian Angel responds. So uh, this goes from S to F. If you have the dial turned all the way to F, uh, the Guardian Angel will shut the valve off very quickly after you let off and it can cause some surging and you'll be able to, to hear that. Uh, if you have it to S, it'll have a slightly slow response. So based on how your valve responds and, and how you enjoy how the car is during shifting and so on, uh, you can adjust between S uh, for um, slow response and F for fast response. Inside the Focus, you can see where we ran the um, Guardian Angel LED and we attached it to the side of the cooling mist uh, gauge here. But you can also drill a small hole somewhere in here in the OEM cluster and, uh, and pop it through there having an even cleaner look. Now when you first cycle on the key of the car, you'll see that the Guardian Angel LED is blinking. This is absolutely normal and it's an internal check function. What it's doing is it's always measuring your manifold pressure and it's making sure that uh, it is actually reading it inside the unit. So until it sees a change in that manifold pressure, it'll continue cycling like this. If you're driving along and you see it cycle like this and not shut off during normal operation of your car, then that means that something something is wrong and you should probably check your uh, hose connections to the Guardian Angels, uh, Guardian Angel first and foremost. Now, when you start the car, if you are connected directly to the manifold, uh, it would immediately sense the vacuum in the manifold and shut the LED off. However, in, in the ST, we're now connected to the OEM solenoid that controls the bypass valve. Now, because of that, we are not actually seeing manifold vacuum when we first start the car up. Uh, if you drive, uh, if you pull out of the garage and, and drive along, it will sense uh, boost pressure as soon as you get into a little bit of boost, and it'll shut off the LED. So uh, you don't have to uh, you don't have to tap the gas while you're in the garage. But I will do this just to demonstrate uh, how the LED shuts off. So there you go, uh, gave it just a tiny little bit of boost uh, and now the LED is off which means that the Guardian Angel is correctly reading your manifold uh, and, and boost pressure and it is uh, going to react should there be an over boost and it's also uh, going to open the bypass valve should you have a water methanol uh, failure or another failure from a system that's connected to its external trigger. To fully utilize all the features of the Guardian Angel, including its vent to atmosphere feature which fully controls the bypass valve, we uh, have to give it a true manifold vacuum source. And we did that on our car here using a Symposer delete plate. And now this hose goes to the BPV in port, which is this one right here on the Guardian Angel. Um, once you've done that, and uh, of course you have to uh, cap off your OEM bypass valve control solenoid. And once you've done that, you can enable the VTA uh, adjust, and uh, there you go, the VTA feature on the Guardian Angel. And uh, what this allows you to do is it allows you to keep the bypass valve closed at idle, just like it does at the OEM solenoid, but it actually improves the response of the valve you get a lot less surge, and you can also adjust from slow to fast, S to F, the response to the valve. I found that for our Tile Q on the Focus ST, uh, a really good compromise is between, uh, somewhere in the middle between slow and fast. And we'll go for a drive in a second and show you how that sounds. Here's the Guardian Angel fully controlling the Tile Q bypass valve in the Focus ST and uh, bypassing the OEM solenoid completely. enabled and the set between the fastest and uh, the slow response.